What about um, the IL-17 agents, which are new? Brad? Uh, highly effective agents. I mean, to George's point before about um, TNF inhibitors, Remicade infusions, despite you know being chimeric um, and there being uh, antibodies and what have you. Here we have these interleukin-17 blockers, which can get patients to POSI-75 in, in a very short period of time. So that's really one of the unique uh, components of, of blocking interleukin-17 uh, in, in my mind. And I have a ton of patients on really all three of the 17 blockers, and I enjoy having them in my practice. I mean, I think it's a challenge, however, and, and again, back on the inflammatory bowel disease uh, part, and why I don't think it's uh, part of every one of our patients with uh, psoriasis, it's certainly an important part of the comorbid discussion. Uh, I find those uh, agents highly effective. They work very quickly. If we need to get someone better, faster, we don't really have to put them on cyclosporin, which does impart a, a much higher safety concern. Um, and, and that's and really actually, been my, my some greatest Some of them are even faster than cyclosporin. Uh, so when you look at the time to achieve PASI-50, which we've published, uh, at least two, if not three, of the IL-17s are do it faster than cyclosporin. Uh, which takes about three weeks. Yeah, it's in the first two weeks, right? Yeah. The first and two that's weeks. That's right, 1.8 weeks for bradalumab and 1.9 weeks for uh, ixekizumab. And uh, secukinumab is a little bit after that. So what I tell people is if I have a patient coming in who's getting married in a week and they need to clear the psoriasis, IL-17 is a good choice, but they should not procrastinate on everything in their marriage like that or else it's <laughs> not headed anywhere good. Mm -hmm. But what's, what's interesting, I think, about the IL-17 class is that this agent has really taught us about pathophysiology, really, because when you start to look at all of the inflammatory bowel disease, that was an unexpected occurrence, right? That was actually from a clinical trial designed to prove that it works for it. And then we start to realize, well, there's this subset of regulatory IL-17 cells in the gut that help to act in regulatory fashion, and when you block those, you get increased microbial penetration, increased intestinal inflammation, and that's where we think uh, that's coming from. And it's interesting when you just look at it from a, a, a over-the-top perspective, IL-23 works through the IL-17 pathway, right? But really, it doesn't affect those regulatory cells, only pathogenic ones. So we've really learned a lot about the mechanisms, the pathophysiologic mechanisms of psoriasis through these agents, which is cool, I think. I, I agree completely, and one of the things with inflammatory bowel disease and some of our gastroenterology colleagues, particularly those that are interested in immunologies, would say that when we're blunting certain cytokines, and specifically along that TH17 pathway, we're downregulating other cytokines too. Some of those cytokines, like interleukin-22, actually may be responsible for colonic mucosal preservation. And so, you know, there are there we, we have learned a lot uh, with these unique mechanisms of action with these biologic therapies.